for a question like 62, it says you have a rectangular stained glass window that measures two feet by one feet or one foot. And you have uh, four square feet of glass and you want to make a border around this. And so you're looking to kind of create this border that is uniform width around the entire thing. So what that means is the distance, the width of this border, X, is the same as the width of this one all the way around the entire thing. So all of these measures here are going to be the same value X. Okay, and so uh, when you look at this, if you know that the uh, total area of all this shaded region here is going to be 4, Okay, so in order for you to find that shaded region, the total shaded region is going to take this whole outer rectangle minus the inner rectangle, and that should be 4. That's what your total area is. So if you look at the dimensions of this outer rectangle, you have this length of 2 plus an x here and an x here. So that's 2 plus how many x's? 2x. And then when you look at the dimensions of uh, the height of that outer rectangle, you have this length of 1 plus a one, an x here and an x here. So that's 1 plus 2x. So your area for this whole entire uh, rectangle, including the inner part that's going to be removed here in a second, is found by taking 2 plus 2x times 1 plus 2x. And then from that, you're going to subtract this area in here. You're removing the original stained glass area from that. And so that's 2 by 1. 2 by 1 is just a value of 2. And so when you uh, work to solve this, you can just use the solve feature of your calculator and leave it all formed in the way that you wrote your equation. So if we hit the F2 algebra tab, select solve in our grouping symbols 2 plus 2x times 1 plus 2x. There's the dimensions of our outer rectangle. We're going to subtract 2, the area of our inner rectangle, set that equal to 4, and solve for x. And when we do that, we get our solution. Here you're going to say, or here you're going to see that x is 1 half or negative 2. Is there any way that x can be a negative number here? No. So we know that our x value is going to equal 1 half. And so when it asks you what should the width of this border be, here's our width. When you look at this, this was one foot by one foot, right? So our answer is one half of a foot. And what is that in terms of inches? So it's six inches. And so this one is just, a, again, a kind of be careful. Uh, it, it switched units on you and asks you for inches in the, as the final answer.